Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a simple dashboard template using Seaborn. So let's get started. So the first step is to install the needed packages like uh, Seaborn, Matplotlib, Pandas. And after installing the needed packages, we can start on building our dashboard. So for that, we need to first uh, import the packages. So first I'm importing Seaborn as SNS, then I'll import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, then I'll also import pandas as PD. The next step is to load the sample data. So for that I'll create DF as in a data frame and then I'll uh, load you will use sns.load dataset and I will load the iris flowers dataset. Then I am setting the style. So I will use sns.set style and I will use white grid. Then I am creating a 2 cross 2 dashboard. For that, I'll create figure and the axis. So I'll use plt dot subplots. I'll create a two cross two dashboard, and let me put in the figure size as fourteen comma ten. Now I'll uh, plot four plots. So the first plot. I am using is a histogram. So I am using snr.histplot. I will take uh, data from df. In uh, x axis, I will have data from the column sepal length. Then I will put kd is equal to true. And the axis will be 0 cross 0. So it will be the first plot and let me put the color as uh, sky blue maybe. Then I will use the 0, 0, axis and I will set the title as sepal length distribution. So this was my first plot. Now moving on to the next plot, uh, I'll use a scatter plot. So I'll use SNS dot scatter plot. I'll again take data from DF in X. I'll have sepal length. In Y, I'll have sepal width. Then in hue, I'll choose species. So according to different species like versicolor, virtusa, uh, it will use different colors. And for this, the axis will be 0, 1. Then in the axis of 0, 1, I'll set the title as sepal length. Sepal length versus width. So we are done with our second plot as well. Now coming to the third plot, uh, I'm using a box plot. So I'll use sns.boxplot. I'll again take the data from uh, df in x. Uh, let me put species. In y, let me put petal length.
axis will be 1 comma 0 and palette let me choose pastel now I need to set the title for the uh, 1 comma 0 axis So, I'm setting the title as Petal Length by Species. Now, the last plot that is the heat map, or it is also known as a correlation matrix. So, I'm using uh, the variable is square r and I am dropping the species uh, column from the data frame then I am using sns dot heat map I'll put the annotations as true then the color as cool warm and the axis will be 1 cross 1 1 then for the 1 comma 1 axis let me set the title as Feature correlation so we have made all the four plots now I put the figures title as iris dashboard let me put the font size as 24 the font weight as bold now let me use priority dot tight layout want a rectangular layout equal to 0, 0, 0, 0.1, 0, 0.96 to leave some space for the subtitle. Now I'm using plt dot tight layout and then to show the dashboard to show the dashboard we'll write plt dot show. So this is the dashboard that we have created. So uh, the first one is a histogram which shows the distribution of the sepal length. So we have sepal length versus count over here. Then the second one is a scatter plot which shows the relationship between features such as the sepal length, sepal width, and it is colored based on the species such as Citosa, versicolor, and virginica. And then uh, third one is a box plot which uh, shows comparison across different categories such as over here we have the species and over here we have the petal length. So it shows that Setosa has the smallest petal length as compared to Virginica which has the highest petal length. And the fourth one is the heat map which shows feature correlations. So uh, the darker shade that is towards red shows higher correlation as compared to the lighter blue uh, or the bluer shade which shows less correlation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next one.